my students let us continue with the basic uh, behavioral modeling so in the previous video i explained about the use case diagrams and their relationships now uh, coming to the activity diagram so this is also a uh, behavioral modeling the purpose of act activity diagram can be described as draw the activity flow of system it describes the sequence from one activity to another activity it's just describing the sequence of one activity to another activity and it describes a parallel or branched and concurrent flow of system it's just describing the concurrent flow of systems that is the use of the purpose of using the activity diagram now coming to different notations that are present in activity diagram the first is activity so what this activity will do an activity is some task you call it as a task an activity is some task which needs to be done means if whatever activity you are doing that has to be completed whenever you complete that work you can move to the next activity if i am explaining this uh, uh, point now whenever i complete this point then i can enter into the second notation means that is my activity now activity is some task which needs to be done it can be followed by another activity in sequence so uh, after activity notation i need to explain another notation in the activity diagram like that so the next uh, notation in the activity diagram is transmission that is a flow from one activity to another activity when the action or activity of a state completes so this point you have to be remember whenever the action or a activity is completed one one task is completed then only you enter into the next task that represented by the transmission flow when the action or activity of a state completes flow of control passes immediately to the next action the flow of control passes immediately to next action or activity state that can be represented by this symbol arrow symbol transmission flow and next notation in the activity diagram is starting and ending nodes if you want to start the activity you represent it with a start node and after the completion of the activities all uh, activity diagram then you have to be end with the ending node that is a diagram activity diagram has starts with starting node and ends with ending nodes the sources of flow of control is known as initial or a starting node the start the start of a flow of control is a starting node and the destination of flow of control you call it as a ending or final node the starting node is represented like this and ending node is like this now coming to the next notation that is a joint join and fork join whatever the flows are coming everything will be joined into a single output a blank bar a black bar so this is a bar with several flows so these are the several flows a black bar so which may be horizontal or vertical whatever the bar you have taken that black bar with several flows entering in it and one should be leaving out whenever one should be leaving out which denotes the end of parallel activities here so many parallel activities are coming okay so the end of parallel activities you call it as a join a black bar with several flows entering in it and one leaving out it this denotes the end of parallel activity this called as a join now coming to the fork just reverse of the join a black bar whether it is horizontal or vertical with one flow with one flow going into it going into this bar and several leaving out there are several leaving out it denotes beginning of the parallel activities it's just starting the parallel activities the one will be split into several activities so whenever you need to work simultaneous works you can go for the fork one activity can be uh, divided into one or more activities if you want to distribute the work you can go for the fork if you want to combine the work you can go for the join a parallel will be end with activities or ending and the fourth the parallel activities are beginning so this is the fourth notation that is used in the activity diagram so here i explain the simple example of uh, join and fork 
you have to prepare to if you want to prepare for the speech uh, just distribute the work like gestures one and i divided the speech for gestures and the decompression uh, decompress so after that the decompress uh, i again distributed into synchronous mouth and the stream audio okay and both are after completing their both work and they combine and join and final it will be clean output will be come so whenever there is a parallel work is starting that you call it as a fork and whenever the parallel worker combining and getting one output then it is a join coming to the next notation that is used in the activity diagram is a decision and merge so it's just like a fork and join uh, join a decision is just represented as a diamond symbol with one flow entering it's a one flow entering and several are leaving so this one side and this one side the flow leaving includes conditions either yes or no. If this condition is satisfied, you can go this. If it is not satisfied, you can enter into next action. So this you call it as a decision. You are taking the decision. And next is a merge. A merge is as a diamond symbol with several flows entering and one leaving. So here several forces are entering and one is leaving. All these statements are merging and giving as an output that you call it as a merge this merge is represented as a diamond symbol in the same for decision and here the only difference is here the, the uh, decision one is entering and two is leaving and here all several flows are entering and one is leaving the implication is that all incoming flows to reach this point until processing is continuous and the next uh, notation in a activity diagram is Flow, final and swim lane. Flow, final is just represented like this. A circle with into mark. This indicates the process stop at this point. Suppose whenever you are doing some work, suddenly the process is halt. Then you have to represent like this. Process stop at this point. Coming to swim lane. Swim lane is a partition in activity diagram by means of a dashed line so with the help of dashed line you are partitioning the complete diagram whatever the diagram activity diagram is present that will be partitioned by using the dashed line called swim lane it may be horizontal or vertical or you can make it as a horizontal or vertical the size of zones represents the responsibility of a particular class or a department means whenever you divide this as this is department one and this is related to another class and it is related to another department like that so for that case we are dividing the activity diagram into modules so that can be done by swindling let me explain with a simple example here the three roles are there in activity diagram student registrar and the system the three actors are there so that's why i make uh, divided the system by using the swim lane the swim lane is a dotted dash line so here horizontal line this part comes related to student and this part is for registrar and this is for system okay so first the student fill in form he try to fill in the form so whenever he fills the form the registrar is going to check the form whether the student is uh, correct or not. So, he is checking with the decision. He is checking with a decision. So, if the student, whatever the details he filled is correct, he displays the student screen. Means, he will give one page, uh, his own page. Means, he displays student screen. Otherwise, it shows you are an incurrent student. It is a decision. And here, after suppose the student is correct the display student in the screen okay where he entered display student screen then it comes to the system role the system here input student information whenever the register open the student screen there the system is going to uh, the system role is in means it's nothing but database input student information so this is a single so whenever you enter the student information search for the student selection list means it's splitting it's nothing but fork okay splitting splitting the work so it's verify the application input student information is verifying the application if the verification is found okay it goes to this creating the record if the verification is not found 
regret message the message has to be the action has to be closed here suppose the search for the student selection list he is checking whether if it is match if uh, the search for the student selection list is match then we create a record for that particular student if it is not match regret the registration also okay and finally you will get the output means we are create one work is completed so this if you want to uh, register the student and if you want to create a record here the three persons are involved the student register and the system so with the help of these three actors we are just selecting the student and checking the verification details and searching for the student in the list and allocating a record to him so this is about the activity diagram thank you